go check it out and vote. We'd appreciate it. We want to give them a, a fair chance of winning all of them. Thank you. That's the I know. <laughs> original works of art. That is what we have decided is our mission statement. <laughs> Creative Artist Skill dues are $30, and they are due January through December. So if you have not paid them, you should pay them after the meeting today, or if you need to, put the check in the mail to our post office box, 324 Dunedin, Florida, post zip code 34698. My brain went dead on that one. Um, and make the checks out to Creative Artists Guild. As a guild, we are gro we have growing membership. Uh, we've got a bunch of, we have like oh, four or five have new members here today. today. It's going to be up to about 155. Okay, so we have 155 members. As well as our membership awesome. growing, we are growing, doing more events and meetings. First and most important is our second Tuesday meeting that we're here at Friendship Hall. At last week's board meeting, we decided to rework the format for these meetings. The new format will be between 12.30 and 1 to come in and have your snacks and socialize on your chairs, visit with your friends. You can come up here and pay your dues as of 12 o'clock to 12.45. We have to stop at 12.45 taking any more money or signing anyone up for things. Today we didn't follow that, but that's Mardi Gras fault with that. <laughs> so that this meeting starts promptly at 1 o'clock. There are a lot of people that cannot stay for the demo because it gets running too late. So this way, by having our socializing before and not between the meeting and the demo, this should lighten the load for people that want to be able to stay and see, see it all. Uh, if you're going to bring art to be juried in, you need to be, fill out an application and make an appointment. And you need to have it here by 3 o'clock. You can bring three examples of each medium to be jury. What? You said 3 o'clock. 12 o'clock. Thank you. Then it said three examples. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, have it here by what time? You can, I have some demo applications for um, jury applications if anyone needs any. I've got some up here. Uh, we are taking money for the luncheon. And anything else, well, anything, if you have to pay anything else, you need to wait till after the meeting. If you're unable to attend a meeting, you can go to watch our demonstrations on CAG's YouTube channel. 
usually a day after the meeting. Last time we got a smidgen late, but that's the plan, isn't it, Stoney? Yep. Some members have limited time, so we want them not to miss the meetings. I apologize for the delay in getting January's brush fire out, which I got out last week. Uh, I moved, I had no internet, and I'm running around in the cloud because I have a new car and everything else. So I'm going to work on the brush fire Thursday. So that it is all right. We've got a lot of things that are still coming up that we, you guys need to be notified. We have shows and events still the rest of this month. So I'm going to get that out to Thursday. Last time we had our outdoor show, it was cold. It was drizzly. Joyce Swanson stood out in the cold, demoing her pastel paintings. We want to thank you so much for guiding people in. That was pure bright. We are going to get, now that we kind of have an idea of what's happening and where we have to track the people, we're going to get, now we know where to put our banners, what size banners to get. We have these easels, yard signs that say art inside, and they'll be on both sides of the door, so people, we can guide them inside here that they know we're here doing the show. Our next uh, indoor show will be, I'm reading this out, so far we've done two Two different times. We've done the second Friday evening, while Dunning had their second Friday art walk, and then we did the one with Howard Allen on a Saturday when he was out on the street, and we've learned that that's not the way to go because people couldn't get in, they couldn't find us, they didn't see us, we couldn't guide people, we were told we can't hack to get customers from there to here, they made all kinds of complaints about it, so we are not going to do with Howard Allen. He actually, can't, he was supposed to be in the park on Sunday, this last weekend, and they changed it because they didn't want to be there with us. And they put it till next, this coming weekend, but the radio stations are announced, they, they said that they were there, so we got the runoff of their, their advertising for our Art in the Park on, sun, on Sunday. And you guys had a lot of people. So they, they hit at 12 o'clock and it was like a zoo. <laughs> right, everybody? Yeah. Um, and the only problem, the weather was fine, kind of. It was very windy and a little hot. Shows why we're wanting to do indoor shows. We don't have wind and heat. Uh, most of the board are feeling that the Saturday daytime, 10 to 3, would be the best time for our indoor show. We might still negotiate possibly doing some second Fridays, but I think it's, we'll do it like the third Saturday of the month, or the fourth Saturday of the month, to do our indoor show in here. The, um, the Saturday market's 9 to 2, so okay. there are, should be people here. Yeah, so, yeah, thank you. So this will be in conjunction with the market, the, the farmer's market. Uh, Stoney did something different on the last event when she posted the heart tree. She put it up as a pop-up event, and I think that that really got a lot more people looking at it. All the restaurants had already shared it with all their member, all the people that were on their sites, right, Stoney? Mm -hmm. So she could see that, so we might use that terminology. Don't get upset that we're still having our regular show. It's just called a pop-up event. It gets a different, catches people's attention more often. <coughs> no, wait, isn't that what you said? It's called a pop-up event. Pop-up. Which it kind of is, because yeah. we're not there. And well, we... all, a lot of the shows that are always there, that's <laughs> the way they do it too. So we're going we're gonna to copy. Someone mentioned a windsock idea. And it's funny because I drove by two of them yesterday. Uh, I know that 1212 has just bought one for themselves, and we are probably going to ask where they got it from, because we want to buy one too. BJ, is that you? Yes. Where did you guys get your windsock? You walked in the perfect time. Oh, I guess I did. <laughs> I don't really know what the name of the company okay. was. One of our, I could get it from one of our members. About how much was it? 150. Okay. <laughs> we are going to buy probably one, maybe two. Because we'll put those out. You don't need them so much as art in the park. We need them for out what we're doing. Have you seen these orange things? That they're like 20 feet high, and the wind is like blowing inside of them, and their little hair wriggles around, and their little eyes. It looks like an orange man. They're very eye catching. They catch your attention like you wouldn't believe. So we are going to probably get one or two of those to do for our indoor shows. We just have to check with the city. We just have to check with the city to see if it's all right. Yeah. Okay. Let's see how far out we can go with it. We have to remember that it has taken years to get Art in the Park known by the community that that's where we are always at the second Sunday of the month. Um, I can't, I don't know who was here at the beginning that knows how long that took. 
it's going to take us a while, so everyone needs to be patient. I think we can turn this into a great show for all of the benefits that we have here. No wind, no rain, air conditioning, <coughs> bathrooms, parking. It really works better for us and for our visitors and the, and the people that are coming to see us. So hopefully everyone will keep that in mind. Uh, we got together, we get together to paint. Oh, what are we doing on that? Our Thursday evening meeting. Our evening meeting is called, we're calling it Art After Dark. It is on the third Thursday of the month. That is the timing as of right now. I am going to talk to Bill Reed again to see if there's any way we could change it because a lot of you paint, go sketch on Thursday night at the senior hall. I've already gotten some letters. Um, I didn't think he had anything open other than Monday, but I am going to check again to see if we can change it. The feeling that we're doing that is actually we're going to be doing this all summer. It gives us a chance to get together once a month as artists, for people that aren't snowbirds, to get together and paint. We paint for like an hour and a half, have a little meeting, and then go back to painting or critique. We had at least 12 people at the first one, and it was, it was, I was really surprised. We had two people that were not members, and we have to thank Matt because he gave information, the little cards that said they should come or told them about it. And at least one of them is going to join us. He came to actually watch to see how someone was going to show him how to do something, and she didn't show up. But it's a great time to see other people do something. They can explain how they do it. If you want to try something new and you know, let's say that she's going to be demoing that, bring your stuff, bring stuff, and she'll show you how to do it on the on the next. Uh, we can maybe do, you know, work on a uh, pouring on that night. This is a chance for us to work together. Uh, I know a lot of the, like 12, 12, you guys get together <coughs> to just create together. It, you, you get inspiration. It, it's really a good thing to do, and it's also for the people that not, cannot come to a daytime meeting. That was really the reason for this. Um, out of the 158 people, we will probably only have 65 to 70 that regularly come to the meetings, so I'm trying to engage the people that cannot come to the meetings. And it's this Thursday? No, this is the next one is March 15th. No. The, the evening meeting is what? When is the evening? Okay, so Thursday, 15th. Thank you. Yeah, this week. I, <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't even know what day of the week it is. From what time to what time? 5:30 till about 8:30. So if you want to come and paint, come at 5:30. If you want to just come to the meeting, come at 7. Um, and you can come in, you don't have to come 5.30 exactly, if you want to come a little late. We have to maybe get a little more, a bigger table because we, we had only one spot for one more person. We were pretty filled up, so that was a good thing. Uh, we're doing it in the room back there where you guys are during, because there's a sink, there's water, and there's no carpeting. Um, I, we're going to bring a coffee maker to have some coffee and water for people to drink. Um, Sometimes you get, might want to refresh yourself, so that's that's the plan. I'm getting all off track on all this stuff here. The fifteenth. So yeah. So we have today is the thirteenth. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day, and Thursday is the fifteenth. <laughs> and then we have our second indoor indoor show on the twenty fourth. So it's gonna be crazy. Our website. Stony is working on a, is working on redoing this. Um, you want to explain what we're doing? Um, actually, uh, BJ, she had mentioned um, a new format of a website that they're using, um, which is Fine Art Shops Online, um, also short FASO, F-A-S-O. And if you go to that site, you'll see that um, it's artists from all over, all around the world. It's real nice, clean looking. You can design it any way you want. We can do newsletters out of it. We can... Um, have people at shows sign up for subscriptions on events. Uh, we can all each have our own special little gallery section where you can have your bio and your artwork. And it'll be easy to read, easy to access. Um, it won't be confusing like the current site. And um, we will try to keep it more up to date. And I'm hoping to have that ready by the next meeting. So, and uh, so everyone really needs to make sure you have a, a bio, a short bio, and that you have a picture of at least one of your pieces of artwork so we can see what you're, what, so people can see what you do. 
you can have more, but one at least. Um, we're going to use the pictures from there to pick out the ones that we're using for our calendar. Well, also, possibly. too, um, when you guys, if you send me pictures of your work, if you are at events like Art in the Park, I can also share those um, you know, to the public saying this will be examples of what's going to be at the park. So, you know, feel free to email me any type of thing it's like that. It's the same stuff we'll use on Instagram as well. Right. And uh, we do have an Instagram um, account as well. So. And what is the new domain name? It is going to be creativeartistguild.club. So, no more .com, it's .club. <laughs> so. I can't remember it, so I have to ask her what it is. But I'll, I'll send out information to everybody, make sure you have it. And, you know. yeah. Okay. Fr I'm a, this is little, Friday is the preview day for Trashy Treasures at the big fundraiser at DFAC. And they've already got the walls covered with art. Um, Carol Roosevelt has closed her gallery, her studio. And she donated hundreds and hundreds of things. So you, she's got like a one-woman show at the Art Center. Um, and then John Raven has a bunch there also. So if you, they're not taking any more donations, are they? It's done, isn't it? No. Okay. Go, go look, see before Friday night is the, the preview. Six to nine. And you have to pay to go in, right, Carol? Ten dollars and you get food and drinks. And Saturday morning is the used art supply, which is fantastic. Yes. Saturday was the used art supply from 10 to 1? From 10, from 10 on, from 10 till something. So everyone should, yeah. So hopefully that people can find that, some interesting things. The Saturday. Uh, March is the Creative Artist Guild show Florida Impressions at Sterling Gallery and Studio. We have an open house, Meet the Artist, on the second Friday. Polly Berlin is taking the list of interested artists. She said, two pictures ready to hang, no bigger than 36 by 36. They have tables for items that cannot hang, like my sculptures. And you can put two pictures in a canvas art bin. So it's $15 a picture. And they're not judged on what style of art, it's just judged as best of show, first, second, and third, and it's not judged as categories. It's all one, all the stuff in there is judged together. Oh my the, gosh. The bins are um, free, I believe. Yeah, the, and the bins to put your artwork is free, yes. So if you're interested, you need to get a hold of Polly Berlin. I will put this in the newsletter that goes out Thursday. She has lakeartistmetrocast.net or pberlinmetrocast.net. She's got two different emails. So if you want to bring something, uh, if you want to show something at that show, you got to let her know as soon as possible. She has to make up some cards. I'm rushing this meeting. It's good. We're going to get out of time. Spring luncheon will be at Countryside Country Club again. And thanks to Miss Sharon Baldetti, we still are only paying $25 a person. You never know. <laughs> and um, she's got skills in negotiations like you wouldn't believe, so thank you. <laughs> it's going to be Tuesday, April 10th. We're working on the timeline because we want to have a little social time where people can go in and look at the artwork before it's all judged and taken out of, out of the, the room. So we're, we're working on the timing schedules still. It is going to be a buffet. We came back to the idea of going back to the buffet. You're going to have a field green salad, a pasta salad, vegetable melody, baked ziti, which is vegetarian. So they're right there on the top is all the things that vegans or vegetarians can eat. Grilled mahi-mahi with citrus or blanc. And their countryside chicken, which we had already in. It's delicious. It's artichokes, roasted red peppers with cream sauce. You get clubs, rolls, and butter. Red velvet cake again. Coffee, iced tea, lemonade, and ice and water. We will have a cash bar. We will have a judged art show. I am looking for a judge. So if anyone knows of anybody that could judge this and doesn't know a lot of us artists, please let me know. And then we will have a free valet like we did the last time. It's really nice when you drive up because it's a big parking lot. Get out with your artwork. After 1030, he can take your car. So we're kind of working our timing around people getting there with their artwork with when he's there to take it. So 
That's why we're still working on the, the timing of this. And you still have to bring your own easel, right? And you still have to bring your own easel. Thank you, dear. And we will have a table for the things. I am on our list here. I am still asking for what you're bringing because that allows us to know if need if we need three, first, second, and third for that category. If there's only two artists, we don't need to have ribbons for third place. If there's only two people in that category. So that's why I need to know. And then we need to know what's going to go on a table, how much of how big of a table we will need to use. Uh, treasure. Tell us how what about tell describe, discuss, give us the names of our new members today. Uh, well, first of all, we've been taking in a lot of money since people are all paying their dues. Thank you. So we didn't have very many expenses. We started January, uh, not January. Oh, yeah, January. $1,597, and we now have $3,676, and uh, we actually have, uh, there have been a couple of expenses since then, so we have $3,100 in our checking account, and today we have a lot of new people. <laughs> Over the last uh, month, the people uh, from the post office box, there was a Judy Bales, is there a Judy Bale here? She's sick. Okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> you know her. Pauline Baxter. Yeah, she's here. We need to, you stand up and tell us how you found out about us and what you do, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm Pauline Baxter. I heard about Kay. Um, And she goes, she goes to France and Italy for months on time and comes back with the most greatest pictures of, of all the things she sees. Thank you. Taryn Mulherry? You probably said that wrong. Taryn? Taryn. You know what the name? Taryn. Yes, we know Taryn. Okay. Mulherry is the last name. She's, she's at an appointment. She'll okay. be back. Okay. Okay, Jean Shenley. So long as she isn't. We have a Jean Shenley here today. Okay, hey, stand I'm up here. and tell us about you. Well, I did that last month. Okay, well, <laughs> some, some people weren't here. Some people weren't here, so we're doing it again. Well, I learned about CAG from the Dunedin Fine Arts Center. And I've taken many classes over there. Carol is my inspiration, <laughs> really. And I'm... I'm a Dunedin resident. I moved back down here from Pasco County recently, and I'm just happy to be back. And remind us what your medium is. I do some watercolors okay. and acrylic. Okay. Thank you. What is your medium? Oil. Thank oil. you. Good. We need some more oil in our, when we have judge shows, we need some more oil. Pamela Olcott. Can you shout, please? I'm going to ask you to come up in front of that table and speak a little bit louder. I'm sorry, because we can't hear up here. Yeah. I heard about you through Polly Berlin. Okay. Photography to be brought in for some of our shows, for some of our judge shows. So we have some competition. We need some photographers. <laughs> Hello, I'm Grace um, from Tampa, and 
um, I um, learned about the organization from my friend Liz. I have been taking um, jewelry classes at the Lenin and Fine Arts Center for the past few years. And my daughter is going off to college this fall. So uh, my mission of you know being with her for the past 18 years is come to a close. So I think it's about time that I uh, work on myself. <laughs> we, we as a group get together. We we in, we in, inspire each other. So, okay, good. Because well, I was telling Liz, last time I was in a meeting with a whole bunch of adults, that was at the baby play dates. I've been doing um, Chinese ink painting all through my life, um, and then oil and acrylic painting in the past, but in recent years I just do focus on jewelry making. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. Last of the new members. Yes. Well, I'm not officially signed up yet. But you're going to, so give us your. Give I'm filling out the application. Yeah. Um, my name's Pat Schumer, and I just moved here recently, and Marge told me about this, and I'm really impressed. You know, quite a big group. Thank you. You're probably going to have to say that again at the next meeting, I'll warn you. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 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 Thank for October. We uh, will do our show and tell in September and then in October um, we're going to do kale the kaleidoscopes, those beautiful kaleidoscopes. Um, so I need someone for November, January, February, and March. So I still need some, some people to sign up for those months as well as people who are thinking, you know, I might I think I might want to do something, but I'm not really sure. I could use some backup people. Those are for those of you who think you might want to do a demonstration, but you're not really sure. And I think I asked Joy to do uh, something, maybe those acrylic pours. I'm really interested in those, and I think a few other people are. So Joy, 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 where are you, Joy? Joy. <laughs> um, so please sign up, see me today. I, I'm taking names. One of the nice things about when we're going to demo at the Thursday night meetings is it's small, so we're all going to be watching her. We can all be standing around and watching her, not rather than the screen. So that is a good reason why it was coming to a demo at the evening meeting is a good idea. Yeah. Right, but those meetings are not recorded, and that's why we need those main demos done at on our Tuesday meetings. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if, if I was to do that next year as a full-size demo, it would have to be done on a floor or... You know, yeah. the, the, that's that's fine, because our, our, our group Lots gets much plastic. smaller during demo time. Yeah, so, but I mean, we could move it to a room that doesn't have mm -hmm. carpet because there's no way, because it's, it's very mm -hmm. messy. Okay. So. <laughs> okay, and I... Hope everyone understood that we are going to be doing our socially social refreshments from 12:30 to 1. Some of you weren't here when I started it. We are going to then everyone up here that is signing up people and taking money for anything. We will be done at 12:45, hopefully. Hopefully, we want to do more road closings next meetings. That will keep us on track of time. So I'm proud of myself because I got this done in a really short amount of time. Um, thank you, Sharon, for setting up the refreshments. And if anyone wants to bring refreshments, please let Sharon Baldetti know what you're bringing so she can then fill in what we don't already have. This is going to be, because we're doing this more around lunchtime, cheese and crackers and not just all sweets would be really good. The fruit was great because that was my lunch. So thank you whoever brought the fruit. Rotating our shows, Barbara Conley.
Marguerite's, um, Marguerite's, our last rotation, we sold two paintings, as, as did the time before. So it's fairly consistent. Uh, my sign-up sheet is at that back table. Just a reminder that um, they have to be proper wired, properly wired. No glass. No glass. And no glass. And um, I'm, I'm now asking, we'll, we, uh, we aim for two paintings per person, but the number of spaces fluctuates from time to time. And I'll ask people to bring a third painting for just in case. So email is back there, my, my cell phone, if you have any questions, sign up. Yeah. Well, obviously the lower price range is sell faster. Um, what is the average cost of something being sold there? I would say everything under a hundred okay. for sure. Um, the, the, the things under 50 are, are obviously selling, you know, a little bit easier. Uh, we, the, the commission is 15%, so it's not that bad. And um, you, Margaret does not let us know when something is sold. It's a two-month venue, and we don't know in between if something is sold off the wall unless we turn up and have a look, which I had the opportunity of doing, and, and was. I got the artist, you know, I, I saved the space because I was just coming out of MJ's and I, when I stopped in there, found out there was a painting off the wall or two and I, I smacked my stuff in there, then informed the artist that maybe we could do a switch out. So if you're displaying in there or you want to find out about it, stop by, have a look, familiarize yourself with it. please. Um, patronize our, our lovely lady who uh, and she has a great unusual menu yeah and food is good so, yeah so uh, do, do stop by familiarize yourself with the venue and um, and get in touch with me sign up so I try to be here and with my sign up sheets at the meeting March do we have any thing to say about MJ's uh, we just have the summer months left if anybody's interested June, July, August, and September are still open for this year. And you got to explain what she takes because we have a lot of new members. Okay. I do MJ's, which is a little clothing shop on the strip down here, and she takes 10 paintings or 10 pieces of artwork. It has to have to be something that hangs on the wall. She does not like uh, modern art or create, you know, it has to be something that she will accept. She doesn't like abstract, that's the word I'm looking for. And it's for a month at a time, and we've had good luck. Last year, I, off the top of my head, I know of four people who sold paintings there. So we are selling them there. Yeah, I sold two in December, so. Woo! So two in December, yeah. when that thing sold one. Um, John? 